Hey there, Libras, Crosswatchers, and Channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm still coming to you from in a park here in sunny Florida. Yes, life is good. I have no internet at home, and I've also got an air quality situation in my house, so I'm coming to you from outdoors so that I can get your messages to you. I feel so good getting out of that house. All right, let's get into this reading. I was going to do a money reading today. Let's go ahead and focus on that. Let's see what's going on with your money. Let's see what Spirit would like to tell you. What's your overall energy and your relationship towards money at this time? And it's going to be different for all of you. But let's see what we have going on here. Who are we focusing on? Ace of Wands, an inspired new idea here on how to create money, wealth, abundance, prosperity, joy. Okay, I am hearing good things, a great attitude uh, towards money, towards how to make money. You've got a brilliant idea, some of you. All right, let's continue on here. Let's see. What else Spirit has to say about this? If there's any blockages or anything else that you need. Let's let's look at your um, relationship with money. Okay, because you're inspired here. You've got a beautiful idea. You've got an idea of how to make money. Um, a new job, something. Okay. New career path, a new passion in life. Whatever it is, it's new. All right, let's see what might be, uh, what your relationship with money actually is. Five of Wands, you're still learning. You're still learning. You, you've got some conflicts concerning money. Um, you're conflicted. So, some of you are hearing things like, all you have to do is believe it will come to you and it will come to you. And that's true in some sense, but you still have to take the inspiration that you're given and go forward with that. So you're hearing... Um, you know, get rich quick schemes and you're like, no, I don't believe that. Good for you because those very seldom come true. Yes, it will happen for some people. Everything's got to align so perfectly for that to happen. You, however, I'm hearing are learning what works for you. Okay, this is six of wands. So whatever you're learning here, you're, you're going to be successful. Maybe that's what you've realized is that you have finally found your your passion, what you are truly happy and in alignment with doing. And when you're in that alignment, you flow. It no longer becomes work, okay? But right now, you're still learning how to become successful, how money can come to you, how easily money can come to you, okay? How you need to separate yourself from the chaos of life by turning off the tech and getting yourself calm and relaxed and away from everything so that you can hear the inspiration of spirit, which aces are. That's divine offerings, okay? So you're doing this. And if you're not doing it currently, you are about to. Beautiful message here. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's any blockages, anything that you could actually work on mentally to benefit you, to help you towards this goal. Yeah, just keep in mind that it's all up to you. Okay, it's all up to you. Nine of Cups here. This is about you being happy with what efforts you're putting in, what you are creating, okay, where your heart is. This is going to be like a wish come true for you. This is a dream come true. Happiness, joy, self-satisfaction, because you're the, you, this could represent you working for yourself, too. All right, becoming your own boss, making your own way in the world. So the only thing that may be blocking you or that you can focus on that would help you is that this is your dream. And if it's your dream, you are the one that can make it come true. Nine of Cups, and then you got six of Wands on the table. Okay, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here. Heal your relationship with money. Okay, in the past, there was a sense of everything is separate. Everybody, there's only enough for each person. No, no, there's more than enough out there for everyone. Look at that. Your destiny is going to change and become more balanced with that wheel of fortune and justice in the future here. You just have to stay focused, I'm hearing. All right, we're going to spread those cards out a little bit. 
All right, let's, yeah, that's what Spirit's saying is to find, um, take some time, look at the situation. How have you grown your money in the past? How will you spend your money to grow it in the future? What do you need to do What um, going forward? What do you need to let go of so that you can move forward? So you're planning, you're counting things. You're looking at what you have grown, what you have developed over time. Okay, beautiful. That's called strategy. Thinking things through, making uh, assessments. And you should be doing this every six, seven months, okay? Reassessing the situation. All right, let's see what you can do. What else you can do here to bring in the wealth that you are seeking, the abundance, joy, prosperity. Let's see what else Spirit suggests for you. Six of Wands, look at that. It was here, okay? Keep your eye on being successful, that you can accomplish whatever you want to. I am being told from Spirit that each one of these little buds, blossoms here on, this, on these wands is your steps your little successes that lead to the great big one that keeps building your confidence for you. All right, so acknowledge every single small step that you take that's successful and keep building on those. What is working right now will continue to work for you in the future until it doesn't. And then you just reassess and then you move forward with a new thing, okay? Baby steps and take it, um, take pride in what you are accomplishing here. Every success counts towards building your confidence. Look at this. Six of Pentacles here, okay? Now this is what you could learn from people around you, how to stay balanced, how to balance your books. That may be something important for you to know if you're going to go into business for yourself. But this can also just mean being at peace and harmony with your money. Okay, because a lot of people do not have that. A lot of us believe that there's limited supplies of money in the world. That's baloney. Money was created so that everybody had enough. Okay, that's why money was created. Because not everyone wanted honey in exchange for building a roof. Okay, I heard that story recently. All right, so it looks like you can find balance, harmony, uh, peace with your... So you go from uh, learning about money and your relationship with money to being successfully balanced here, okay? And I do hear seeking help from people outside of yourself to help you with that, okay? Let's see how this is going to end here for you. What's the, oh, it's flying away. Look at that, the truth. Another ace here. That's two aces, right? And one above the other. And they're both the ones with the pink ribbons on them. So this is something new. Something you don't know. Something fresh. Great ideas. Divine inspiration. But this is a truth. And it may shock you at first. It may prick you a little bit to, to hear this truth and to understand this truth. But once you do, this is a new beginning for you. This is a success. Look at all this good thing, all these good things here. Double sixes, plus you have the five of wands and, this, and the ace of wands. That's another six things and double aces here, okay? Alignment, getting um, in alignment with yourself and how you, your passion, how you deal with money, what makes you happy, what makes you satisfied, okay? Get rid of those things that do not actively help you achieve your goals if something does not actively help you achieve your goals i don't care where, where it is but we're talking money here so if you're trying to save money yet you're going out and buying a mocha latte every single day could you maybe do that every other day it, how what is your relationship with money Okay, I'm not telling you you can't spend that money. I am not saying that. But what is your relationship with money? 
How do you see money coming to you? If it comes and flows easily to you, that's great, which means you are open to divine inspiration and guidance here. So when you hear the idea of how to make money, you grab a hold of it and you run with it. Each one of those is that little step towards success. All right, let's get you an enchanted map oracle message here. They're already on the table. Okay, that was an awesome reading. This money reading was good. Talisman. Don't flip up, please. <laughs> I don't want it to flip everything on the table either. All right. Let's see if we can flip that down. Nope. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here for you. 48, wishing well. Be careful what you wish for. You just may get it. Oh, look, 48 and 49. So you're heading in the right direction here. And look at this. This wishing well is full of money and prosperity coming out of it. You took the mask off. You're, you're understanding. You're accepting the way things work. Your reality towards money. 49, let's see what we have here. A lesson that is truly learned is earned wisdom. You have everything that you need for the success that you are seeking. Wisdom allows you to recognize the traps along the road and the familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are right now. Okay, this is the Seven of Pentacles. And find the best route to go what direction to take. Now, right now, you are at a place where you understand the right things to do and the best choices to make. You're doing it, okay? You're taking those steps. Great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right de decisions each and every time, okay? You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. You've learned your lessons. And that was uh, the talisman card there. Let's see what the uh, wishing well says for. Desire is the sacred impulse of life. Feel it, but let go of at all attachment to ownership with it. Okay? Desire is the most important impulse for creating anything. Now you are seeing the relationship between the desire and the inspiration here. Okay? What it is you want and how you relate to it. And it may feel like an aha moment to you, okay, when all of a sudden it all makes sense. All right, so this card here is awakening you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings, two new beginnings here, double aces. Divine intelligence activates the fields of possibility where new things are being created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know exactly how or why this happens. It is spirit's realm. To that end, you can't control the process of growth. Rather, you just need to step aside and be a channel for higher forces and relinquish the, your attachment to how something is going to come to you. You have to hear the inspiration from spirit and then take action on that, not forcing control, okay? So let it appear to you as spirit wants to bring it to you and when spirit wants to bring you to, to you because it will be in the perfect timing. Form your intentions of what you desire and then take the action that has been given to you. Okay, take action on the inspiration that has been given to you. Be prepared, okay, to be amazed. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, Crosswatchers Channel fans, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.